Hello my friends and welcome, my name is Dennis and today we are going to react to Captain Joe's, Captain Joe's video about the flight simulator 2020. So actually he flown the Cessna 152 on that simulator, it's a very interesting video. But also we are going to react to PewDiePie, the one of the most popular YouTubers in the world and he also played the new flight simulator, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. So it should be a very interesting video, stay tuned. All right, let's start. Here we have the Captain Joe channel. I would highly recommend you to subscribe for his channel or subscribe to his channel. He has more than 1 million and 360,000 subscribers. So it's quite a lot. I think it's one of the most popular aviation YouTuber. And the recent video here we have Boeing 747 pilot flies traffic pattern with Cessna 152. I don't see the rest of the title name, but let's go. I'm sorry, my friends, we may see some of the advertisements like this, and I will just close it as well as you may see on my videos. But I cannot get rid of that monetization on my channel, probably. Dear friends and followers, Joe welcome back same. to my channel and to my first Microsoft Flight Simulator hmm. 2020 video. Now in this video, I'll be going back to my days of flight school and I fly around the beautiful island of San Bar. So he used to fly, Cessna. he used to fly the Cessna 152. 152. Now I'll be showing Boy. you all the checklists needed for a flight in a Cessna 152 and I advise you to download the checklist from my website, the link is in the description box below with tons of added information explaining each item on the checklist. Why do you need to switch this and that, when and where? Um, yeah, useful information, but if you go to the flight school, you'll have this information. You'll know when to switch, what to switch. It's all in a training manual of Cessna 152. You may find it in the internet, just Google it. Cessna checklist, Cessna uh, manuals, you'll have all the information, understanding where to switch, particular switch, or what to do in particular period of time. You may download this information from Captain's Joe website, you may pay five bucks, but if you, if you are a simulator pilot, you may do it and you have all the information in one manual, just for five dollars, but if you are if you want to go through your training you i would recommend to go to the flight school they have everything all the manuals and etc and also those checklists may change within the time so if you download information it, it may not be current you know if you download from the captain joe captain joe website and you go to your flight school something may change for example for boeing 737 once we have very long checklists but then boeing rethink the model of how you should do the checklists and they rebuild all those checklists and we fly with different checklists right now so if you are old Boeing pilot of course you know about this of course you know about this feature for Cessna it's it can be the same all the procedure may change with the time but for just for your reference maybe you may you Where, may waste those five bucks and so far so don't guess it do it right and learn from me. Now please understand that I see the Microsoft Flight Simulator as a fantastic procedure trainer or any other simulator. If you want to become a pilot, start off small with a Cessna for example, use the provided checklist given by me and the easier it will become once you're at flight school. No, it's not a good option my friends. All the, all, all the pilots, all the simmers, all the real pilot simmers know that the checklist that you can provide your custom made like for example custom made captain's job checklist they are not uh, i mean legal it's not legal information the legal information you can only get from your flight school they have the certified manuals uh, they can provide uh, the checklists the proper checklist and proper training information for you even the baltic aviation academy filmed some of the videos you know with the uh, technam 2002 how they fly how they switch all the systems but they have uh, you know the 
signs say this don't use it for your training it's just for you know joy purpose for everything so i would recommend to use this checklist by captain joe only for your simulator flying i am saying it again if you are going to be a pilot go to your certified flight school and they have all the certified manuals don't pay for this stuff because it it is illegal for your training my friends and again, also here, it's not very realistic what we are going to do, but I'm going to, to explain. By the way, don't take this as a, any kind of instruction. I'm not an instructor. Uh, I've flown this plane, yes. I'm familiar with it, yes, I am. But that doesn't mean by any meaning that uh, what I'm saying is right and what your instructor is saying is, is wrong, okay? Just the instructor is always uh, completely right. I'm always completely wrong, okay? Just to be clear i can promise you that so let's fire so up it's that not a good good started. point captain john i think you're Cody ground, not doing a good right, job right Bravo, sorry right with, with all the respect right, so guys we are now at st bart airport and we see our little uh session i wanted to do uh just about going out for a sunset flight here now we say we'll uh, just did the pre-flight inspection and we've done the passenger briefing we've turned off our mobile phones and we've just uh, adjusted the seats and fastened our seatbelt. Obviously, we want to set our parking brake and um, all the avionics should be off and all the circuit brakes should be checked. Well, actually, the great job was done. The great job was, was done uh, while editing this video. So first, Captain Joe flew this uh, Cessna 152 and now he is reacting to his video. And probably he has some of the editor who may edit this kind of videos because yeah it's very simple to do this but it's highlighted you know his specs and the instruments highlighted it's a kind of great job and he explains everything so I think it's very professional way how to explain it to you then we have the engine start checklist so the mixture obviously goes rich, we're going to start the engine any minute, the carburetor heat goes into cold. Then the okay, let's mask, move a little bit further. That's around the up position, uh, turning on some lights here, they'll see a bit better. Yeah, then the radios. Yeah, Cessna checklists are very, very long, so we have 19 items. It's a part of checklist. Well, it's too much. So all the instruments, as you may see, they're highlighted, explaining what RPM should you have. But as I say to you, maybe the engine uh, manufacturer may release that we have some kind of interesting thing discovered with uh, this type of fuel. So probably you'll have not this uh, RPM. Maybe you need to put some more RPM and check it later. So you may use this as you know familiarization course you may just watch this video to get familiar with Cessna flight instruments etc but don't figure don't fix uh, it in your head i mean these numbers etc you may have those uh, more accurate numbers uh, in your flight school altimeter is set to the qnh or qfe whatever it is and by the way the captain joy is not an instructor he is first officer in cargo lux airlines on boeing 747 so he's not certified to provide you with this information this is what i am talking to uh, people that day that the vertical speed indicates going up to or open and then the i know that some of the general aviation pilots they fly the airplanes without those checklists you know you sit in the cockpit and you okay i know everything i put this road on you know it's flying let's check check the, let's take a joy ride but here you need to you need to put your checklist because it's your safety you know if you forget to do something you still have the checklist okay i didn't do it okay i need to do it now because it's after this border after you missed something maybe in checklist there is no any way you may correct it you may see it after but it can be very late for you for example you may put the carburetor heat on you may have not enough uh, power for your takeoff maybe your airport at a high elevation because carburetor heat takes some of the engine uh, power so you need to check it out you know so carburetor heat will be cold. at 50 knots you rotate and the climb speed would be at 65 to 75 knots i'm releasing the brakes and yeah we'll see the takeoff captain flying. job <laughs> <laughs> take off power 
But still, I like Captain Joe. Understand me right, my friends. Just, I don't like this part. Take that... a power set to call out. About those checklists, you know. Stabilizing and being on the center line. Here we go. Airspeed alive. Rotate. And we are up in the air. Okay. We would then immediately pitch for the climb speed. Nice cruise ship. 65 to 75 knots. There you go. And then I've added the little uh, traffic pattern chart it's that, a that we actually see where we're going, that you guys know where we are. So it's a good video editing uh, at very high level, you know, you see everything, you see the surroundings, you see the chart. I think he's very good in video editing. A right turn heading towards that inlet there. Amplified version of it where you can or where you get all super detailed information. Why am I flicking this switch here? Why am I pressing this button there? When do I need to extend the flaps, etc., etc. So it's definitely worth it. Check it out. Uh, just to, to, to try and do this at a professional level as possible. Yeah, for flight simulator, yeah, my so friends. Yeah, I'm constantly speaking while reviewing Captain Joe video because he puts it every time. He puts three times uh, those checklists. So at the beginning, at the middle, and he speaks about those checklists after in his videos so three times but yeah because he's earning the money from them from the very i would say basic information that you may find in internet you may find those checklists well they are amplified he said maybe he done some of the research and he put uh, more detailed information about those things that you need to do uh, while doing the checklists more detailed information but if it's for flight simulator, that's perfectly fine. But it's if he promotes is uh, this checklist to be for a pilot training, for a professional training, don't buy this stuff. Believe me. So oh, um, this is actually really helpful with that chart. I think I'm going to put the chart in there as well. You can download that too. And when we come in around the base, so that should be any second from now. Let's go for the landing, Captain Joe. With yeah, good A to C. That you know what you're doing in the traffic patterns so we are on the final here coming up very shortly that you can practice it uh, obviously in the simulator too, but good yes we've turned final so we do actually have a kind of little descent checklist power as required mixture as required and power breath heat as required this descent check is completed so now we have to obviously start slowing down we're going to place it to flaps 10. we are in the speed arc that we are allowed to set uh, any flaps more or less and here we go to flaps 20. We're really going to bring her down somewhat to like 55 to 60 knots for the approach speed uh, because Sambot is really famous for that drop just uh, uh, onto runway 10. Uh, you'll see it in a minute. Yeah, you should extend the landing flaps and then you are descending. You know, then you pass the final approach fix and you're up to descent or while you're descending extend the flaps. Otherwise, if you extend the landing flaps, you need a lot of power to maintain your uh, airplane level off so you you may maintain flaps for takeoff during the horizontal flight but for descent uh, landing flaps for descent only and asking for full flaps so 30 uh, yes so he's doing a nice job here a little bit of an outside view i mean look at that yeah perfect i like this flight simulator Good. we do a normal landing checkers the airspeed i mean the, the visual flaps, aspect but not with flaps 30. Mm -hmm. flaps as desired is flaps 30 and then the approach speed would be somewhat between 55 to 60 knots not a landing yeah very interesting approach from this uh, view to land for a to C. and here we go <laughs> yeah very interesting really always fluffing back here already and then really pushing her down 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 <laughs> to the runway and now gently start to look there. There you go. That's me nice. down. <laughs> it's the simulator, so Even don't judge Captain Joe or other place. any other pilot playing the fly and simulator. Uh, it was an okay down. landing. The weather the landing was fine. Oh, let's come into a stop right now. ATC giving us a uh, Oh he's also putting the ATC. Apron, so 180 degree turn. Mm, that is not how you turn usually <laughs> on the runway. You need to go to the left side here and turn. 
Yeah, we do the after landing check. Or you need to go with your nose to the right and go with a U-turn. But usually it's, you go to the some kind of side because you saw we hit like some some part of the grass, excursed the runway. The runway. <laughs> we place our flaps up yet again that the propeller doesn't pick up debris and slam it against the, the flaps. And then you taxi to the next uh, available taxiway here in St. Bart. <laughs> So yeah, it's very deep hill here, very steep hill, I mean. One of them. <laughs> and then we turn off to the left, and that's where you then latest uh, turn off the transponder, just to, yeah, do not confuse A to C on their radar screens or other pilots if they have... Um, yeah, nice, nice flight simulator. You see all those cars, firefighting machine, and yeah, I really like this stuff. I really like Flight Simulator 2020 because of the graphics and very detailed, you know, those palms, palms or something, palm trees. I don't know, everything is so super, the those, you know, feet. takes away. We are taxiing, let's say, we just come to a stop right here uh, at the apron. Okay, back into the air. Okay, let's skip this. What are you going to That's how he, fl he fly this using, flight sim. Uh, to do this as professional as possible <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, just see that landing one more time. You see, I've, I've really pushed her down and uh, amazing. Absolutely love it. Nice. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this first Microsoft Flight Simulator video of mine. So please, if you do take this seriously and you want to use the simulator as a training tool and practice your procedure skills, technical knowledge, etc., I highly recommend you to go over to my website, the link is in the description box below, and get yourself the checklist I've just used during my flight, plus the amplified version of the checklist, so you get a better understanding of what you are doing, For five why you're switching this switch from on to off, what speeds to fly, when to extend the flaps, etc. I know you all want to fly the Boeing 737 and bigger, but every professional pilot starts his training on one of those smaller planes. Once you can handle a Cessna 152 safely and you know what you're doing, you can then go to the next bigger plane until you end up with the big airliners. That's it for today. I uh, Wise words, my friends, but as for simulator, wise words. But as I told you for... If you want to be a pilot, go to nice flight training organization, flight training school that have certified um, employees, certified instructors with certified manuals. So you don't really need to download those stuff. Well, you may download and fly the flight simulator and later on forget about everything. Well, you may have some, some kind of memory. And you may go to the flight school, fly the same Cessna 152, but don't say that I will do like this because Captain Joe says like this, because he is not an instructor. So listen to your instructor in your certified flight school. Don't blame me, my friends. That is how things are going in aviation. You need to have all the certificates and other stuff. You cannot just train yourself on the flight simulator. You need to have the professionals to train you. And don't put dislikes, of course, because I like Captain Joe. I'm just reviewing the material. Sorry, Captain Joe. It's truth. Pam pam. All right, guys. Now let's move to the fun side of our today's video. The PewDiePie, one of the most popular YouTubers in the world, actually was flying the Flight Simulator 2020, flying into my house in the Flight Simulator 2020. I was requested to review this video, to react on this by one of my subscribers. So I decided why not, why not? We'll go to very interesting, to, to review it in a very interesting manner. Let's see, I hope it will work. Good evening, my name is Peter Pat. <laughs> you may know me as Screamy Tambourine YouTuber, horror game guy, but what a lot of people don't know about me is that I'm actually a certified pilot. It's something I haven't talked about. <laughs> well, he's not a certified pilot, but maybe it's a part of the joke because we have a lot of videos right now because real pilot flies Microsoft Flight Simulator. I do also have this video, so everyone, every pilot blogger wants to have some kind of the hype from this kind of 
Flight Simulator 2020. And I did have a hype, then I filmed a video about why I will not buy this Flight Simulator or something, and finally I bought it. But I had a lot of hype with this, fl with this Flight Simulator, I have many more views compared to regular views. Well, interesting. So I wanted today prove to you. A pilot reacting to Flight Simulator. We're gonna fly to sweep. <laughs> a pilot reacting to PewDiePie reacting to the flight. PewDiePie pilot reacting to Flight Simulator. Here, uh, we're actually already in Sweden. Uh, we're flying a Boeing 747. Yeah, it's, sure. Uh, something I'm well familiar with. To disengage the parking brake. Uh, there we go. <laughs> we are now going to increase the throttle. There we go. We should be moving forward. Very gently. I so far, it's fine. Fly. So far, there is no any laughs. <laughs> I uh, plane, so this should be no problem. Especially in the home turf of Sweden. Just so we're clear, I am a pilot. All right, I will now take off on my own volition. Not the video. Oh, God, we're flying. Oh, my God. <laughs> I am scared. <laughs> Honestly, my friends, I don't think that pilots may be really scared or should be very scared. Well, it depends on personality, but sometimes we feel the some kind of level of anxiety. For example, if you fly during the night time into the clouds and you have the thunderstorm nearby and the lightning strikes, you feel that it's very near because of the screen effect. If it strikes, it goes all around the cloud and you feel that it's somewhere near. I need to get out of this place. But, however, if you have some kind of failure, I mean cl critical failure, you have very high level of anxiety and then that level can go into this very stressful state, the state of panic. So you need, as a professional pilot, you need to avoid this state of panic, of concentrating, of your tunnel vision state, I would say, and you need to deal with the problem, you need to land this airplane with the passengers, with the cargo, in most safe manner, no matter what happens to the airplane. So you need to calm down yourself and try to do a safe get out as possible. Let's continue. <laughs> Throttle control we want to maintain at uh, about 30%. No. Throttle is not listening to me. But yeah, that's debugging. I was flying this uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator model, Boeing 747, and it's very lagging. It's lagging. Beautiful. There we yeah. go. We are maintaining it. I like the graphic. It's very beautiful on this flight simulator. Nice altitude and speed. We're flying the Boeing 77. Now we're going to retract the landing gear. So uh, we're dipping a little bit. Uh, actually need to retract the landing gear on every airplane once you're airborne so you check your positive rate with the vertical speed indicator and also for example on Boeing 737 we also have the radio altimeter so we need to cross check it with the vertical uh, speed indicator and also then you have the vertical uh, the radio altimeter going up that's the positive rate so retract the gear once you're airborne mm -hmm. We're gonna now climb slowly for the passengers sitting in the back. We're gonna climb too slowly to about <laughs> no passengers here. altitude. And from there, it should be smooth sailing, my dudes. Why can't I adjust the throttle? Um, if you pass through these clouds, it may be bumpy, no matter what size of airplane you fly. So the cumulus clouds, they are not very dangerous for your flight, but if you pass through them, you'll have maybe icing and some of the turbulence. So it's better not to switch the seatbelt signs off once you pass in those clouds. This is actually really concerning. I can't stop. <laughs> All right. That's normal. I think PDPI failed to control this airplane. What we have, the altitude is very low and the speed well, also. I think it's quite buggy simulator. Not everyone can fly it, especially Felix. The PD-5 is Felix, actually, it's his name. He's not using the joystick to fly this airplane. Oh, thank God, this video has a sponsor. Oh no, we passed this. Every YouTuber wants some money, I don't know why I don't want to earn lots of lots of money on my channel so far. Well, I have the YouTube advertisements, that's the standard. That makes YouTube to like your channel, to promote it, because it starts to earn the money from it. But I don't have the advertisements from other, other side, you know, advertisements. But I like what PewDiePie is doing because he donates some part of this money, actually a huge amount of this money, to charity. That is why I like what he's doing. So as for ads, let it be, let it be. 
Ah, sorry. Should pause it. Somewhere here. Uh, it's normal. We're doing a little detour here. <laughs> Actually, you're diving, my friend. Diving into the ground. You need to do the upset recovery. There's a special, some of the special maneuvers that you need and to apply. And we're going to rise up slowly here. There's no any way that you can do it with such a close ground proximity. And he realizes at this moment. Uh. Okay. He didn't hit the ground, but he just broke down the airplane because of the significant G-force applied to this uh, airplane. Let's go. Next. <laughs> It seems like he flies something smaller. Airbyman Fuji in uh, Hokkaido, somewhere. Cessna 172. I remember, I don't know exactly where it is, but it's nearby. And I remember seeing Man Fuji that day. It was such a magical, god damn, you look like a long, sexy bitch. It's such a magical moment, seeing this amazing mountain coming through the sky. It's like a gray weather day. And here I am landing on you in a video game. And then you fly at this high elevation, I mean, very high on your airplane, the throttle, the more throttle, the more power of the engine is required to maintain the same speed, I would say. So if you want to land this airplane on a high elevation airfield, the more power you need to apply and the longer landing distance uh, is required for your landing, because the air is less dense, of course, and you can easily stall it. It's happening. You it's can't happening. Stop me. The speed it's happening. is dropping. No! Oh. <laughs> the speed dropped and you just stole your airplane, my friend. Pity pie, you stole your airplane. No! No! <laughs> yes, it's the flight simulator. It's not the game, really. <laughs> now he flies Cessna Citation business jet. Who needs autopilot when you're a perfect pilot? There's no clouds. <laughs> Actually, we don't use the autopilot because it's better pilot than the humans, than human pilot. We use the autopilot to reduce our workload in a cockpit. Then you fly without the autopilot, you always concentrate on your flying on the parameters and you need to do the, uh, some job to maintain those parameters. So you always concentrate it on your primary flight display, this one, and your navigation display, that one. And that will you reduce your perception level. And if you switch on the autopilot, you will have some level of automation. So you can still control the airplane by putting other data like vertical speed, airspeed, altitude. But you may also concentrate at this time uh, on your air traffic communication, air traffic control communication, and your, for example, weather radar on other stuff that happening to the airplane so it's better to sometimes to re reduce to increase the level of automation to reduce the workload so that's why we use the autopilot today it's very clear sky Fuck yeah i'm winning kind of feel like running out just to see if i can see myself in real life is that autopilot on okay that's pretty good now we can change look at that that was a smooth takeoff <laughs> In no any way you fly like this, my friends. In no any way, because um, hmm, we have the speed brakes up, uh, spoilers, those spoilers, and flaps. Well, we may use this configuration in very rare stuff, then you are very hot and high. I mean, you have lots of speed and you need to decelerate very fast. Uh, sometimes you put the flaps to uh, for, for Boeing, we have restriction flaps 15 with speed brakes. So you may uh, not the flaps 15, flaps 10 with speed brakes. If you select the flaps 15, you need to retract the speed brakes. So you need to destroy the lift on your wing because you are hot and high and you need to approach. That is why sometimes we use the speed brakes with flaps 10 on Boeing 737. Uh, there, there are not such a limitations in different airlines. Uh, well, we use it like this, but if on a cruise flight, on a climb, you just reducing your lift force. Yeah, you know, any way you fly like this, my friends. That was a smooth takeoff. Hope you enjoyed your flight. And you'll never take off with landing flaps for sure. Uh, it is landing flaps. See this huge Life angle with flaps. You can so climb far, with takeoff flaps into some of the points. We are on course to Sweden over the British fields, apparently. I don't even know if we're going to Sweden, to be honest. A lot of gas. So, did I forget to remove the flaps? Yes. How do I, how, how do I, oh God, I got the flaps on. Flaps and speed brakes, my friend. 
Oh, this is terrible. Why did no one tell me about it the is. flaps, bro? There we go. <laughs> oh, that should be smooth there. I'm a real pilot, PewDiePie said before. <laughs> what about that? Those what flaps about? are still out. Uh, You're are not, not gonna flaps. die. You're not gonna die. Relax. <laughs> You're one of those panicky people, huh? Uh, what were they called? Flaps? F-13. Someone said F-13. I'm trusting you. There's no F-13 you can control. <laughs> that does not exist. There we go. There we go. Now we're... Uh, yeah, that is your configuration that you need to have for your climb, for horizontal fly, for a cruise fly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's very interesting to see the gamer actually playing the flight simulator. Because you really need to have some of the aviation related knowledge to fly this simulator. Well, I have no just at very high level and I don't really like this flight sim because it's not very realistic. Oh, that's so much better. Why didn't anyone tell me about that? Huh? All right, we're, we're fine. Uh, we're going a little fast according to this, but I think that just means we're going to go. You guys hear that? That's fine. That's normal. <laughs> it's not normal. Well, you are allowed in some point, you are allowed to overspeed. For example, during your emergency descent, you need to set VMO, uh, so maximum Mach or maximum speed. For Boeing 737, it is Mach 0.82 or the indicated airspeed of 340 knots. Uh, well, uh, if you are at very high, your indicated airspeed, maximum allowed air indicated airspeed uh, will be much less. But anyway, if you are overspeeding during the emergency descent, you are allowed to do it because you need to descend very fast. You know, if you overspeed just a little bit, it's okay. If you overspeed too much, it's not okay. So it's not okay, my friend, to overspeed in these normal conditions. I had the overspeed once on my ATR in Indonesia. Um, because of the turbulence, I hit this you no know, upper buffet. It was just for a couple of seconds, so it is it is okay. Don't listen to him. How do we shut him up? Which button? I'm slowing down. Relax. We're gonna have to emergency land at the uh, Hockfield Airport. Our landing gear is broken. There's no reason to be afraid, my dudes. Uh, this bank is very high. Usually for commercial flights, the bank is limited uh, down to 30 degrees. Uh, well, some airlines limited to 35 degrees of the bank. But here is definitely upset recovery. Maneuver should be done. So you need to level off your wings here for sure. <laughs> but PewDiePie wants just to go to land to this airport. So you're in safe hands. We're going to just do a quick little pit stop. Why is the autopilot so bad? As soon as I press the autopilot, we just start dying. You're in safe hands. Maybe it's the simulator back because I also use the autopilot on Boeing 747. I never fly there, never have flown the uh, Boeing 747, but I tried it on this flight simulator. You may check out my video about it. And then I pushed the autopilot. It became very crazy. It started to fly very in a very crazy way, especially using enough enough. So I barely was able to control it. So maybe it's the same stuff for Citation. I haven't fallen it so far. Flying to Sweden. And once we're there, we're gonna go to the Yo-Yo Championship Tournament. <laughs> oh God, what's happening? <laughs> Fun. Uh, he's calm, eating his uh, apple. It means he has a good stress resistance. <laughs> good to be a pilot. Good for a pilot. Shut up. <laughs> Shut. Shut up. What's the problem? Shut Actually, you may enter this toll if you lose the speed, so you lose the controllability of your airplane, your ailerons will be not efficient, and you need to, to apply uh, for store recovery maneuver. And for every airplane, it's different. For Citation, I don't know. So we have specific maneuvers to be Done on, on. on How are we making shut up? Oh. But all the maneuvers are basically you put the nose down, increase the airspeed, and recover from the soul. Oh, now we're going faster. Oh, okay, we're fine. All right, figured out, guys. No problem. Going very fast all of a sudden. Jesus Christ. I think we'll be okay. Oh my God. He's, he's not flying in the middle. He's overspeeding or stalling. Too much of speed or no speed at all. Yeah. PewDiePie. 
What happened? No! <laughs> Significant G-force, my friend. <laughs> 747 again. All right, it's a good time to flirt with the flight attendant. I'm a married <laughs> man, of course. I'm not going to do that, but Sai, Sai might. Actually, in real life, uh, you are uh, spending some of the time on your job, most of the time, in good old times when we fly a lot uh, before this aviation crisis. And of course, I know many of the pilots who not only flirt with flight attendants, they marry them. So. I have lots of friends who married flight tenants, and that's okay. It's like in every job, you know. Okay, auto sounds good, right? There we go. Oh, oh. He said the autopilot on and autopilot started started this abrupt maneuver. I don't think it's real. Uh, I don't see the other modes that he selected. They have just heading select, so no. Uh, no fly directors. Without fly directors, it will just not follow the uh, MCP commands. Maybe you should switch on the fly directors, correct your flight plus, do the upset recovery maneuver, and yeah, because you are banking more than 90 degrees. And uh, what else? Select low, change your altitude, and continue flying. <laughs> Turn it off! Turn it off! Turn it off! <sighs> what just happened? The autopilot hates me. Where did everyone else go? How did I lose everyone? We're dropping altitude like fucking crazy, dude. How am I going so fast? Wow, the icing is very... Not very real, I would say. Maybe you should select the window heat on, because in real life I didn't see this kind of icing. I haven't seen this kind of icing on my windows, windshields. No! <laughs> what is uh, crashed again because of significant G force. Smoothly control your airplane. Coming in for landing, coming in hot, coming in hot, coming in. Yeah, if you're in such a speed, if you're maintaining such a high speed at this part, you are very high and hot. Means you are maintaining very high speed. I can see the flaps are down probably because you have a uh, this bar appeared here. Usually it appears much higher at much higher speed if the flaps are up uh, the one procedure you need to do in this case go around missed approach procedure <laughs> you'll never reach it in stable level such in such a close way in height here we go boys uh. this is it thanks for sticking <laughs> with my all right cutting cutting all throttle no. well maybe if you fly pilatus poor it's okay for you but on boeing 747 no any way you can do it no. not like this Come on, boys! <laughs> We're dipping! <laughs> no! <laughs> so close! I'm yeah. gonna do it! I'm gonna land this. Uh, yes, yes, gonna land it, probably, but <laughs> he won't. Why am I dipping so fast? Why am I dipping so fast? Because you can see the speed is very low for this kind of airplanes, for jet airplanes usually have the approach speed of uh, the target approach speed of 150 160 knots and here as you can see the angle of attack indication indicates that we are stalling we are stalling and speed is very low flaps are 16 degrees not more because you need to push on this flight simulator you need to push them more to extend so we'll just stall this airplane i think why am i dipping so fast that's not the runway! <laughs> it's very hard. Hey, thank you for flying PewDiePie Airline. This has been my pleasure. Welcome to Gothenburg. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this proves that I'm a pilot once and for all. Like if you enjoyed. <laughs> well, I think he can fly the real airplane. He's a gamer, but if he spends some time money for his pilot training i think he can he's able to fly the real airplane actually there are not so many people that are unable to fly their airplane if you drive a car i think it's very very you have a very high chances to fly the aircraft to be able to fly the aircraft you need to have the specific knowledge you need to have the technical mind thinking but even without it you can fly uh, private pilot you can have the private pilot license and fly your private airplane like like in a car probably
All right, my friends, Captain Joe did his review of flight simulator in the most professional way. So he took the airplane that he was flying a very long time ago with all the checklist, all the procedures, and I think it's very, very interesting to watch. But PewDiePie also did a very great job. Maybe he didn't realize it, but he promoted the aviation into the aviation. He expanded the aviation community because he had he has more than 4 million views on this video, so many of young people would watch it, they would buy the flight simulator and it will be their first step into the aviation world. If they like it, they will buy many more stuff, I mean the gear to play the flight simulator. If they like it a lot, they will go to the flight school and become a pilot, maybe. Our aviation community will expand with this kind of videos. I may say that I also entered the aviation world through this flight simulator back in 1990s. Then I was a young kid. I don't remember actually the year. Maybe it was the flight simulator 1994 or something. So I started to fly it. I flew the Cessna 172 and I liked it a lot. So it was my first step to reach my career, I would say. And probably you are also interested in our aviation community, you are a part of our aviation community, and that is why you are awesome guy. So what you need to do? You need to follow our awesome guy checklist. First, you need just to like this video, then subscribe to my channel, to my channel ring the bell, whatever it means. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great time. Pam, pam.